Ladies and gentlemen, it is Halloween. A day for celebrating all things spooky. So I decided to download a horror game from Mitch.io and see how it goes. Because me and horror games, I, I, like I think I said when I played that, um, that Doom wad, uh, Soundless Mound, that was it. We don't really tend to get along very well, me and horror games. I get scared a bit too easily to uh, play through these sorts of things. But this is apparently just a short prototype of a game that was just randomly found on some guy's hard drive. Obviously he made it, but uh, yes. So, the um, link to this will be in the description. I do not know how long this will go for, but I will go for up to an hour. If it is longer than an hour, then I shall actually stop and uh, call it a day there. Also, you can mess with things in the main menu. I don't know if the music is copyrighted, so I'm uh, just going to keep that turned off. And yeah, nothing else we can mess with. Right! Play prototype. I wonder if that will uh, that cup will stay there. You awaken in a dark, foreign place. You have no memory of how you got here. All you remember is a bright flash of light. Oh, the the cup did stay there, and it does not have any physics beyond the. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to get kicked. Alright, okay, so, this... This is Otherworld. The door won't budge, you need to find the key. Press the right mouse button to use your Otherworld vision. Indeed, we have the ability to uh, traverse the world. But first, reading material! Patient report, Friday, 5th of January, 1996. Name, Laura Connors. Date of birth, 19th of October, 1974. ID 13. Shows significant signs of psychic potential. Immediate results from strobing. Are you sure that's just not an epileptic seizure? <clears throat> anyway. Cannot only see the other world, but control aspects of it. She will be moved to a more secure location, as there are concerns her powers are influencing the world around her. Security systems are malfunctioning during her worst phases. And we can use other world vision to see what the note really says. Beware of Laura. Do not underestimate her. We are fools to think we can control her. Her birth holds the key that hinders our progress. So, yeah. Things getting spooky already. Uh, interact with that, apparently. Here we go. Wednesday, 10th of January. 1996. Judging by what Dr. S told me, the light strobing patterns used to induce the other world transition are some, has some glaring flaws in their design. He is working on a new pattern that should increase the patient's responsiveness and control of in the other world. It should be ready tomorrow, and I look forward to testing it out. I hope it can increase the efficiency of our more lacking subjects, though if patient 13 is a good candidate for the new strobe, remains to be seen. Dr. M. What a success it was while greatness has brought us. She could not be tamed, this monster of our own making. Hmm. Oh, God, there's more reading. Okay, I've done these out of order. Um, oh, we got information here about another patient. Shows some promise in his ability to enter the other world at will. However, his frail constitution makes him a poor candidate for some of the more dangerous aspects of where... Well... <laughs> Realm shifting often comes back bruised and scarred. Frail, 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 frail. Yeah, we get the idea with that. And finally, Christopher Noah can manipulate objects within the other world, but often cannot exit the realm at will. Is often stuck there for hours. Will initially do more serious strobing. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Well, that's not weird at all. All right. Okay. Well, I suppose well. Oh, that more reading. Uh, Michael Downey, ID7. Scrap what my previous report said. After Michael had an encounter with patient 13, he no longer seems to connect as well to the over to the other world. Strobing brings him there for a moment, but he can no longer enter it on his own. Patient 13 seems to be jamming the potential of her peers. 
He's scared, he's scared, he's scared, he's scared, he's scared. Whereas well, his horror game, it would be uh, remiss if someone was not scared. How are we going to interact with all the... Uh, with all of these? I heard something. Use this power at your own caution. Some things appear twisted in this realm. Like, for example... Oh, okay. I thought I thought that was it only in the other world. I've played through this first room, so I kind of know what I'm doing here, but beyond this, I know not. Key! That was not there in the normal world, as you may have noticed. So, uh, yes. Ooh, can I, uh, crouch? I cannot crouch. I can run. That's concerning. The key slides into a lock. Unlocking the door. Nothing else in here before we... Uh... No, nothing else seems to be here. Oh, hello. So... ID 16. Seems to lack potential. There's a little control over his ability to remain in the other world. Gets ir uh, irrational and violent. A little promise. Worthless, 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 worthless. Yes. Yeah, okay. Alright. Enough reading. Time to go and find the spooks. The world around you is not what it seems. You have the ability to gaze deeper into it than most others. Beware of consequences. Like being eaten by Cthulhu. Well, this looks relatively normal. Alright. What shenanigans we got going on around here? Does the, battery, does the torch have like a battery life? Like in fear? I can't jump, okay. Or at least not by pressing the space bar. I should have checked the controls before I uh, did this. Alright, door. Locked. Seems to be connected to the nearby keypad. Right. So, I'm guessing we're going to have to go Otherworld and find the key combination. Oh. Right. Keep the lights on, she suffers when darkness falls. Die in hell. The cursed witch's bed. Well, this isn't creepy at all. Nope, not at all. Uh, okay. H, H for hints if you get stuck. Well, I'm not that stuck yet, game. I, uh. I mean, I imagine the key combination would be somewhere on the walls. If I go around here, will something spawn? No. I wonder if... I mean, that's got a red light by it. So I wonder if the key combination is 1974. Happy birthday to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 the key combination. I'm not sure why the entire world is basically upside down though. That's kind of this is kind of weird. Alright. No. Right. So it's not nineteen seventy four. Are you sure about that game? No. Okay, right. So it's going to be one of these birthdays. I don't know which one, though. 3rd of June. Unless it's in the... Uh, unless it's in the other format. 19th. Oh, okay. So, no, it wouldn't be. Unless it's 1910. Could be 1910. There we go. Right. Take the elevator to freedom. Well, this is going to go well. Oh, game.
game. Game. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. When budge. Oh, when budge locks broken. Hmm. No. Huh. Inspect the broken engine. Oh, okay. I should kind of guess that. But why did this door open then? Well, I mean, there's a broken pipe. The engine needs to replace three parts. Use the other world vision to locate three parts in the nearby rooms. What's going to chase me? Because this is this is a horror game. Oh, that's got red. Uh, no. It's going to be in one of these. I'm somewhat suspicious of this. Ooh, hello. It's a kettle. Well, I didn't need the other world's vision to find that. Alright. This is going to be a slender type thing. Use the other world vision to locate three engine parts in the nearby rooms. I wonder if I need other world vision to get through this. No. Alright. There's another one. It's two engine parts. Those are... Unless something spawned in here. No, it won't let me. Oh, no, no. Has an engine part spawned in here? World vision may help, but it's not really helping me, is it? Uh, what's this bloody engine part? <coughs> uh. Dear. I decided in my infinite wisdom to have a uh, sausage roll this morning. Well, I say sausage roll. Two sausage rolls, technically, because there were sausages in rolls, so, you know. What if it's in this room? That was not on when I left. That doesn't help. It's not spawned in here. That was... I turned that off. Oh, whatever. Clearly the, uh, the spook here is that the uh, thing keeps turning back on. Ah, there it is. Machine is fixed. And I'm inevitably going to get jump scared. Nothing in here. Well done, you escaped the building. No, I didn't. I was going to say. Oh. Well. Shit. Oh, 
No, that was it. Oh, okay. I didn't get jump scared. I was surprised. Yeah, short but sweet, I guess. The funny thing is, because I didn't know what was happening, that was actually pretty scary. I mean, this is... It is what it is. I mean, like, like the thing says, it's a prototype, so it's not even like in alpha, beta, anything like that. It is literally just a, almost like a proof of concept. So yeah, well, it was a pretty, um, a pretty interesting proof of concept, I must admit. It's a pretty spooky one. I should have really, I, if I knew it was so short, I would have taken more time to just sort of read all the. Um, things and go into Otherworld Vision in all the rooms, etc, etc. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty interesting. Alright, so, that's going to be, uh, well, I suppose that's half the Halloween special. I've got another game lined up, lined up, and I really do not want to play it. So... It'll be released the same day, they'll be released, released at the same time, so uh, you've undoubtedly already seen it. But to be, good, to be sure to go check it out if you have watched this and not seen that one already. So, thank you very much for watching everybody, I hope you have enjoyed it, and until next time, I have been Kaldaris. Goodbye.